The town where I live has houses half a mile apart from each other and is mostly surrounded by forest. The highway was empty and quiet due to its being a small town. I drove past this highway every day on my way to and from work, but I stopped taking the highway one day and will never take it again. This is what happened. I was driving home from work at around 3 a.m. and it was pouring rain. I was about halfway to my exit on the highway when I noticed a van with an emergency light flashing. As I got closer to the van, I noticed that someone had placed cones all over the place, completely blocking the path. I was perplexed because the van is heavily rusted and does not resemble any of the construction vehicles. I stopped in the middle of the highway and saw a man with a vest coming out of the van. It was pouring outside, so he ran up to me, knocked on my window, and asked, where are you going? When I asked what was wrong, he said the road was closed. He then told me to get out of the car to check one of my headlights was not working and said that my tires were flat too. It's like he's trying to find every way for me to step out of the car. When he realized I wasn't going to get out of the car, he approached my door and attempted to open it, but it was locked. He looked at me in the eyes and said, Get out, if you don't want to die. As I was about to pull in reverse, more than ten guys jumped out of the woods and surrounded my car. All of them were holding axes and rifles. Then my worst nightmare came. I heard slashes and a pop sound. All four of my tires had been slashed. I was shaking in fear at that time, thinking this would be my last day to live. They had smashed my passenger window. Then I heard a loud crack. All I could do was cover my ears and head at the time. Those men then drew their arms out to unlock my car, opened the door, and threw me outside into the curves while I yelled out at the top of my lungs. One of the guys then choked me and said to all the guys, how are we going to cook him? Then those other guys said, let's make three different dishes tonight. They all laugh and fist bump each other. They all look very happy. When they were about to drag me to the woods, I saw a red and blue light coming from the distance. At that moment, I knew God wouldn't let me die yet. Oh crap, forget, let's go, said one of the guys. When they finally let go, I stood up and ran to the middle of the road to cry. The police car finally got to me, and I felt sick to my knees with no energy. I tried my best to explain to the two officers, and they flashed their flashlights into the forest and couldn't see anything. I sat back in the police car and they handed me a blanket. The officer said I was lucky because they were responding to a call and were heading my direction. They never caught any of those guys, and I hope no one will ever encounter these sick people. Ever since that day, I stopped taking the highway to work. In 2003, I was driving home late one night from a wedding and was driving on a dark stretch of the highway. It was a long three-hour drive home, so I put on my favorite music and opened the window and blasted it. As I was driving past a little bridge, I felt something slightly tap my shoulder, so I looked back and no one was there. I lower my music and just wonder to myself, did something or someone just touch me? It started to give me chills. I checked my time and it was 2.33 a.m., so I just shrugged it off and thought that maybe I was just tired. When I started to see a black figure standing on the side, as I passed the dark figure and continued my drive, a whisper in my ear said, please wait for me. Then, all of a sudden, to my horror, a little girl was standing in the middle of the road. I stepped on my brake so hard that my car stopped a couple inches from the little girl. I was sweating like if I had just jumped into a swimming pool and felt like I was going to pass out. The little girl then slowly walked up to me and said, can you please take me home? I yelled at the girl, why the hell were you standing in the middle of the road? Could you see I was about to hit you? But she ignored it and begged me to take her home once more, so I told her to get in the back seat. Instead of taking her home, 
I quietly navigated my phone to the nearest police station. I asked her how old she was, and she said nine years old, and said that a stranger picked her up after school one day and decided to drop her off in the middle of the highway. I told her that I needed to go somewhere first and then would drop her off after. But the truth is that I was going straight to the police station. It was so dark in the back seat that I couldn't see her face, but when she first got into my car, I could see that she was an Asian girl with short black hair, and she was also carrying a yellow backpack. We arrived at the police station 35 minutes later. The parking lot lights shine brightly. I turn to look at her and tell her to wait here a bit, and I will be right back. She didn't respond or say anything this time, instead putting her head down and wrapping her arms around it so that I couldn't see her face. I locked my door and ran inside to the station. A policeman came out with me to take the girl out, but when we came to the car, the little girl was nowhere to be seen. I told the officer that the girl might have taken off running somewhere. So he called his partner off of his radio and went to check up on the surrounding area. They came back with nothing and took me to a room and queried me a thousand questions. I repeat the story over and over again and they just stare at me like I'm crazy. They told me to follow them to another room and show me the camera footage. There was never a little girl. All the footage was straight home. When I got home, I did tons of research about the highway that I saw the girl on. As it turns out, a little girl had been kidnapped and was thrown out on the highway while the car was moving fast. This is the most scary thing that I have encountered, and I hope no one goes through what I did. This happened to me back in 2006. This is the only experience I have ever had like this. Nothing else has come close. Some friends and I are driving around some rural roads waiting for a friend to arrive at his cousin's house. We were just kind of wasting time, parking near a lake and walking around, talking. When it was time to go, we entered the bridge and were about to enter the highway. My friend, who was driving, slammed on his brakes, and I, in the passenger seat, looked up and there was this thing. I had never seen anything like it before. We stopped the car and watched as this thing, in broad daylight, stood and walked like a human but on four legs, with big spikes on its back and some scales like a fish. It had blue skin and was moving across the road slowly, about 16 feet in front of us. It was creepy, to say the least. It was approximately 9 feet tall, and we could see its joints moving as it walked slowly. It had very long, muscular legs. Its body was dripping some kind of water, or liquid. We were all screaming, what the hell is that? It was walking perpendicular to us. We watched as it slowly walked through some trees before jumping into the lake. Needless to say, we were freaking out about it. When we got to my friend's house... We all drew pictures of it separately and showed them to each other at the same time, when we were done to verify that we all saw what we saw. It was the strangest thing I have ever seen, and I still have not found any satisfactory explanation to this day, 35 years later.